A really nice feature that's available to you as a DJ is what's called the array. And the array is basically a soundboard that we can set based on any audio cuts that exist in our automation system. So by clicking the uh, array tool button here, I'm going to bring up a soundboard. Uh, this one currently is our rock beds. So these all have uh, different instrumental rock music songs that we can use as sort of audio wallpaper behind a DJ as they're, they're talking. Um, you know, sort of keep momentum going and just so it's not, not bland. Um, but if I hit this, uh, this rock beds button, it's going to take me back to my main menu for the array. And then these are the different um, arrays that exist, the different soundboards. So this is sort of like a main menu for your array. Uh, I can look at comedy beds. You know, if I'm doing a sports cast or something, I have all these different sports instrumental music uh, that I can look at. So let's say that I want to go ahead and create a new soundboard for myself that I can always have access to and is filled with content that I might find useful and, and of course can be switched at any time. I'm going to find an empty array button, which happens to be number 11. I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to set the page title. And I get this little dialog box here, and this is for me to give this a name. So I'm just going to simply name it after myself. Hit OK. And one of the little quirks about Enco is that you see, number 11 is what I chose, and I gave it that title, but it didn't actually appear yet. I have to go into select. Uh, the soundboard number 11, and now you see it has my name on it. So now if I go back, number 11 actually says Phil. So that's just one of those little quirky things. You set it a name, and then you actually have to enter that soundboard or array um, before the name sort of takes effect. Um, but here it is, and once I click on it, this is the soundboard itself. So I've got these 16 open spaces that I can insert any audio content that exists within uh, the automation system. And that's simply accomplished by dragging and dropping audio content from your library. So I'll open the library. And what I'm going to do is start loading in some things that are useful to me. Uh, so for example, I need some instrumental music. Uh, so here's my instrumental music page. I'm going to put in a couple of Maybe these comedy ones. All right, so here's the comedy music bed, Drunken Waltz, drag and drop, and there it is. Here's another. Let's put uh, four comedy music beds right on top. And now I can take this a step further uh, and give these a color. So I, I could change the color based on you know the type of, of audio content that it is, um, and do some things that way. What's important to know about the array is uh, now this audio is assigned to this button. So when I click on the button, um, it's going to start playing that, that audio content. But it would keep doing this until I, it either runs out or I click to turn it off. What's also important to know is that everything that goes from the array is going to go through your ENCO channel 2. So if I want to listen to these things off the air, I have ENCO channel 2 in Q. The other important thing to know is that one array button does not eliminate the previous. So if I'm playing this one, and it's got 60 seconds to run through, and I click another one, they're going to overlap each other and come through the same channel. So that's something that you've really got to be aware of. Um, but this can be useful for music beds like this. It can be useful to have uh, you know, station IDs or even you know, sound bites or clips from you know, celebrity pop culture kind of stuff or maybe news clips, actualities. Uh, the, the possibilities are really endless here. Um, and let's say I want to get rid of something. I, don't, I no not longer need the comedy drunken waltz. I can just right click and then clear that particular spot. One final thing that I'll say about this is it can be really useful to apply a rotate cut to one of these uh, array buttons. And what a rotate cut is, is it's a single audio cut in DAD that is associated with many others. So for example, um, our WBGU legal ID rotate cut, which I'll place here, um, is basically a roadmap to all the different legal IDs we have for the station. So if I play this, it's going to play one legal ID. You're listening to WBGU FM on 88.1 and 
HD1, Bowling Green, Ohio. But no, even though it's the same button and I've added no additional content here, if I hit it again, it should be a completely different legal ID. You're listening to WBGU FM 88.1 and HD1, Bowling Green, Ohio. So that's a pretty nice feature to include rotate cuts on there because it only takes up one spot on your array but could potentially play through hundreds of different audio clips and, and sort of randomize them for you. Uh, so that's the array function uh, in a nutshell.